What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video and today, May 11th, 2019, I graduated from Western Dakota Tech and um, I took an EMT course there. So it's a five month long course. I was there from January till now and uh, I, I never said anything about it on the channel. Um, I want it to be a surprise. There's one or two subscribers that knew about it, and uh, in one of my early videos in January, I mentioned that I might have to take away some time from YouTube. I thought I was going to have to stop doing YouTube completely just because of this, but uh, I managed to find time to do it. So, anyways, guys, I want to show you what I carried through EMT school, and let's take a look. So, first off, got the textbook, Emergency Care and Transportation of the Sick and Injured, 11th edition. In case if none of you guys have ever seen one of these things before, it's a, it's a pretty thick book, honestly. This thing was like, might have the price on the back. No, I think this thing was like close to $300, honestly. And then binder, this is, we had assigned seats, and I just decided to keep mine at the end of the course, so... That's what I have in there. My mom printed this out for me for whatever reason. Just a, a sloth and hang in there, so I just always kept it. Uh, this is a packet about um, getting ready for your NREMT. Some of my FEMA certs. Class schedule. I had calculator. Some Carmex pens, pencils, highlighter. Notes. This is... Uh, five months of notes. Probably could have taken more, honestly, but, you know, whatever. And then, every EMT is going to recognize these. This is what we have to test over. So, basically, for your patient assessment medical, you have to do all of those things, and then if you don't, or if you miss your critical criteria could be an instant fail and there's medical and trauma that you have to go through then you got spine immobilization supine position so that's like laying down and then seated then you got your oxygen administration by non breather mask and BVM that's bag valve mask ventilation of an apneic adult to see all the criteria that we have to get and then cardiac arrest management slash AED probably the easiest one wow that looks really weird in the camera it's just CPR but still and then bleeding control slash shock management and then joint immobilization and long bone immobilization so Basically, we have to sit down and do all those with uh, a patient, and you'll have all the equipment there at your station that you need, but you, you have a certain amount of time to do all of them. I think for these two, it's like 10 and 15 minutes, um, and I think the rest is five minutes each. I could be wrong. I think I think the spinal immobilization was a little bit longer, but uh, so yeah, you you have to put the like for this one, oxygen administration. You got to verbalize PPE, gather equipment, check the oxygen tank for uh, cracks, assemble the regulator, opens the oxygen tank valve, checks the regular pressure. Checks for leaks, attaches non rebreather, turns on high flow oxygen to res and fills reservoir bag, adjust regular to sure oxygen uh, flow rate is at least 10 leads, and attaches it to the patient. But it's each station is that you have to do that. And it's not the easiest thing, honestly. I could probably read all these things off without even looking at them. That would take forever, but that's how that's how important it is that you know these, is because you're tested over it. So, I mean, 
you could read these things off in your sleep by the time you're done with EMT school. And then, of course, there we had to do a uh, uh, written exam, too. So we were required to have a laptop. We had these voice threads where after a chapter, we'd go through it and basically reiterate everything that we learned. And it was kind of redundant, but whatever. We survived through it. And then my backpack. I don't know. That's just a Walmart, $10 Walmart laptop bag. Seemed to hold up over the years. It's got wannabe Molly webbing. <laughs> and I got, uh, oh, these are these nice... Uh, um, things that our instructor printed off on the Glasgow Coma Scale and uh, he gave us these but I accidentally washed mine when I washed my uniform so that one's ruined. He, he gave me a second one it might be in here. Had a map of the college because I'd never been there before. Gum, extra notepads, extra mechanical pencils and pens. And then we're required to wear or have medical goggles and a stethoscope, the uniforms, of course, and a BP cuff was optional, but the instructor, he had us do something that was like, you kind of had to buy one, but I just used the one from the school. So anyways, guys, here's this kit that I got from Rothko. It's got a whole bunch of shears, window punch, seatbelt cutter, pen light, stethoscope, pocket for your gloves. I got a nitro gloves and a CPR mask in there. And that's it. That's all I carried in my bag. And then here's these uniforms that we had to wear. White uniform shirts with epaulets. Had to have a patch EMT student. Western Dakota on that side, nothing on this side. Um, I got a Rothko one. There is a review for a lot of the stuff that I just wanted to wait till after I was done with the course to show you guys honestly. And then of course for the graduation, had our cap and gown. The cap is, oh it's right here. So I thought we would throw our caps. So I wanted to customize it so I could tell which one was mine, so I put the Star Life on there. Um, but we ended up not throwing them, so I thought that was a surprise. And then for the, the gown, it's just a generic black gown that you actually keep, and no one ever told me that. But I thought we kind of kept it just because it says Souvenir Graduation Gown. But I thought it was kind of lame that it doesn't say the school's name on there at all, so... Uh, I had one of the extra school patches that I sewn on there, and no one ever said anything, so it must have been all right, but it looks nice on there, so I really like that. And then, of course, your diploma case or cover, and the, the actual diploma is mailed to you, so that should be coming in the mail probably by Tuesday since it's Wednesday, maybe Monday, I don't know. So anyways, guys, that is everything that I carried with me throughout EMT school. Um, honestly guys, it was a lot of hard work. Like, EMT school is not a, it's not a walk in the park. Um, it's not just gonna be a breeze, no matter how much experience you have. Me, um, just as a fireman, I don't, I, I just have CPR, BLS CPR, uh, and little bit of uh, first aid training, but um, there's so much stuff in depth that um, I didn't know about prior to this, so I definitely learned a lot. Um, I'm really proud of myself. I didn't think, I don't know, like, it was tough. Um, I'm glad I, well, I, I decided to go through Western Dakota Tech for the college experience, and even though it costed more, I could have taken this through one of the fire departments. And here in South Dakota, you don't have to be an instructor or a certified or licensed instructor to teach an EMT class. You just have to be an EMT. So honestly, like, let's say I already taken my national registry and I graduated today and got my national registry results today. Next month, I could be teaching an EMT class. Yeah, that's pretty freaking scary. I mean, I wouldn't, 
but that's how loose it is here. Now, on the plus side of that, I could have taken it through one of the fire departments. It would have been about $900. This class was after the uniforms and everything, and the laptop is probably a little over three grand. Um, and it would have been cheaper, um, shorter, and you'd be able to interact with EMTs who are currently practicing, like our instructor, he was a guy from Houston, did 32 years down there, and don't worry, he'll let you know, because every time he turned around, he'd be like, well, in Houston, it's like, yeah, we get it, this isn't Houston, you can go back down there, though. Um, he was a, he, I'm glad he taught us the way he did, but it, it could get annoying sometimes, you know, um, but overall, I really liked it. I'm glad I stuck with it. We had a class of a little over, I think it was like 19 or 20. And basically only seven of us graduated, but it really only stuck for about six of us. And uh, yeah, um, it was it, it was tough. It definitely was. Um, but again, I'm glad I did it. And I also had a lot of inspiration, like one of the, the doctors who works down there, he was actually one of, not necessarily like me and my brother's personal doctor, but uh, it, he was like our, our pediatrics doctor back when we saw him up at the hospital as kids. So it was kind of cool that he was able to get to see me grow up like and turn into this. And he had told me, you know, he, he's this old doctor probably makes a fortune, right? And he told me that he started out as a volunteer fireman and just kept on building on top of it. And here he is, a doctor. So I think that's that, that gave me a lot of inspiration, honestly. I had a lot of inspiration from the people down at the fire department. And uh, one of my subscribers, Ambulance Boy, um, I let him know when I, when I started this. And... He was always had his ears open if I needed anything. So I'm assuming you're probably going to watch this, judging by the title. But uh, again, Ambience Boy, thank you for helping me. Um, it, it was, this, this is tough. So especially for people who have never been through any type of medical classes before. Like, I wish I would have taken like a medical terminology class or something prior to, but I didn't. And I survived. Um, and guys, I'm, I'm honestly just so proud of myself, honestly. I, cause no one in my main line of family has ever really gone to college before. Or even if it's just tech school. And if they have, they either, either just never attempted or they dropped out. Um, there were a few people on my mom's side, but no one on my dad's side really, so... This is a pretty big accomplishment, honestly, um, and I'm I'm glad it's done though. Um, so the next thing that I have to do is just take the national registry, and that's it. So, anyways, guys, that is what I carry through EMT school. I hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll catch you on the next one.